Wait, what? Oh, so you do the... So it's only the starting bridge that actually has things on it. The other bridges don't have the spawns correctly programmed in. Because you really aren't intended to come up that way or down that way. Thanks for messing around with more Vampire Survivors Beswick, episode 225. Katha Morte goes to Polis Replica. And she's going to be critting all day, every day. Well, hopefully she does. These are not weapons I want. Well, I barely want that, but I have to take it. You get Millionaire. Hey, Victory Sword. That'll fix so many issues here. And Cross. That fixes so many more. Weapon cooldown. Weapon cooldown. Alright. And she has one. Let's take it nice and easy. We should go grab Slash from the Arcana chest. And then get early evolutions from the emergency event. And now, I could have put this on inverse, grabbed three arcana, using the merchant off the bat so I could get Wicked Season going and really boost her luck up. But no, I'm not doing that. This is going recorded the same day it's being posted. And I have to record tomorrow's video early, too, because... I get busy on that day. Busy with what? Busy with business. What type of business? The business of mine and my own business. That's what I mean. I think it'd be something intelligent like chores. Things I need to live. But no. Slashing time. Now do crits, flash arrow, and victory sword. And I should have no trouble at all. Right. Hmm. One hand flash arrow gets more out of it. Evolving. On the other hand, slash doesn't actually affect cross. It only affects... Heaven sword. So get that evolution checked up early. Anyway, Keitha gets one luck per level. Find that with critty weapons, and she'll be a crit and everything all time. And of course, who can forget? Empty tome. Gives the enemies empty time. To survive. Empty time means zero. So they'll all die when the cooldown goes low. Is it four or eight? Oh well. I do need maxed out bracer, but on the other hand, I can hold off. Oh hey, rosary. Alright, clearly won't be right next to me in here, but I'll stick around anyway. Oops, meant to hit cross. Oh well, 420, almost there. Call the emergency meeting. On the other hand, Flash Arrow can evolve. Victory Sword cannot. It can only get Soul Solution with Thrones Box, which I do not have. Wow, that was a lot of levels. Bye bye, Academy Badge. Oh, wait, that wasn't max amount, Gavin, only because I didn't get Academy Badge. I mean, it also was a max amount because I didn't get Paranormal Scan. Err. Well, I really lied about that. Well, I guess it wasn't a lie since I put it as a question mark. So, did I truly get max amount? No, I didn't. Or something to that effect. Just thinking things, and oh my god, I can't believe how much just putting a question mark changed the paradigm of the video. I actually got views. There I got, and watch time. And maybe subscribers. I don't know, thanks for subscribing if you did. Yep, Heaven Sword. Get that slash bonus going. Not a bad amount of damage. I've done that. Oh man. 
No, I have two weapons that can. Uh, I don't... I don't think the rock over there, the chest that dropped from the rock boss, will evolve, but might as well check it out anyway. Money, money, money! Money! Does anyone else know the lyrics of that song offhand? Is it a full song or is it just a jingle from a commercial? And look at all them power... No, not power-ups. Oh, look at all them power-ups. I got 50 might off of it. Look at all those light sources from the random events causing pickups to spawn everywhere. I should not be here. Now, though, what will I get for my third arcana? Oh, another chest. Will you evolve? No. And she's sort of shuffle around the middle. Also, it's nice having a strong level of power from the start, considering the last couple of characters that ran through Polis Replica had trouble. Too much trouble, really. Polis Replica is the easiest of all the DLC stages. It's because, well, at base you get so much more power compared to the others. Get Arcana on the map. You got all these nice unique things, and you also have inbuilt paranormal scan. Like, how can you argue with inbuilt paranormal scan? That's ridiculous. Chest? No chest. Well, uh, once Flash Air turns into Millionaire, it'll compete with Heaven's Sword a bit more. Come on, where are you at, random emergency meeting button? Or emergency event button? Oh, right. The Atlanteans exist. Oh, that's going to be a bigger red gem than I wanted. Oh, wait, I can just kill you and get the chest. I don't need the emergency meeting. And yes, I do mean kill you, because you don't stand a chance against this level of day Gus. Very little does. So, it's time for the random always. Yep, it was going to be speed. I shouldn't have grabbed that till I was out of speed zone. Oh, hey, candy box. Bad. Too bad. Alright. Oh man, it spawned in so fast. Yeah, I shouldn't need a wake. It's probably greedy, but hey. Here are my levels. But also, I was looking through the bestiary. It's apparently bestiary, huh? Arzguda. And apparently the Atlanteans aren't actually HP times level. They just have a lot of HP at base. That was confusing. Also, a lot of things do way more damage than I was expecting. I expect most enemies to do, like, single digits with a few double digits. Reserved for beefier enemies, but no, a lot of them actually do do double-digit damage. Which explains why I was feeling so frail when I really shouldn't, it, but... Atlanteans, you know, they do like 50 damage a hit. So really, I should be dead if I ever run into one, but no. Uh, da -da -da -da. Flash Arrow, Heaven Sword, and, well, Victory Sword also doing its own thing. Oh, wait. Did I use Heaven Sword when I was running Maruto Swords? Oh, well, I guess not. Okay, gotta be cautious. I don't want to run into that. I'm not getting awake. I'm not getting awake. So that means I don't have any backup revives, and just in case, I always want to revive. Yep, Atlantean Toasted. Not staying up to this level of sheer concentrated DPS, even though Bug-Eyed Boss Baby is going to have no trouble. It's impressive because it's Boss Baby, and he's Boss Baby. 
And if he's a boss as a baby, then you know he's doing something right. But also, isn't the plot of that movie just... It's a business, super business CEO getting turned into a baby, and it's not a baby that became a boss. This isn't a little geniuses. The classic... Crap, is it 90s or 2 aughts? I suppose 2000s works instead of aughts, but aughts is more unique. Final Super Candy Box 2 Turbo Edition. I mean, Bison coming back. You know, wow, that's three candy boxes on the map. That, you know, that, that's kind of makes sense. Psycho power and all that, it's totally mystical. Hi Hachi though, well that's just nonsense. Come on, man. Move a story beyond them. You literally had the main protagonist being the son of the main villain. I don't really need to bring back Hayachi. Though I am looking forward to the DLC storyline. That'll be nice. Tekken 8 is really hard carried by an incredibly great ending. And also some of the character arcade endings, those were fun. Kazuya's was hilarious. And yeah, there were some other moments to shine along the way, but really, its ending is incredible. Kind of impressive how people can get invested in uh, fighter game stories like that. Especially because I haven't actually watched any fighting games, any other Tekken stories. Not even when Max was going through the series about it. Because boy howdy am I behind on all my videos. Still not even done with Max's playthrough. Much less the playthroughs of anyone from Holo. Oh, except Bibu. Oh man, I said Bibu, I cut. Like a rock. But I am not a rock, I am a man. Punch. Okay, yep, shouldn't have any trouble between this level of upfront damage and overall DPS. Keitha's gonna be alright. Getting pretty close, but that's just because they're getting pushed in because they're killed so hard. Huh. Overall kills is actually that high. He's making up ground. Might be able to hit the 100k mark. 100k is sort of what I consider the baseline for a good kill. Or a solid run, especially under the circumstances I have. Obviously full loadouts or even solo loadouts with Silent Sanctuary running going to be better, especially for Flash Air and Millionaire, because then you could start getting mount spam in the area. Especially. Like, even just getting the two levels of duplicator plus the beginning here would boost up the damage of Flash Air to an incredible degree. That's like an additional five times multiplier. But if I'm already doing 1400, it's going to be doing so much more, probably breaking 5k hit. Not a lot, even on inverse, is going to be hitting that. Then you throw a paranormal scan on top, and bingo bambo. And that's why Imposta Tongue Cosmo is so ridiculous. And Legionnaire Toasty is even more ridiculous. Dex hit the penta, or not the P, the quadrillions. Because of it. I'll just... content myself with the trillions. Without having gained it to his degree. Also with half the time. That was neat. Go check out his video on it. When I see a real Vampire Survivors master in action. I'm just an endurance thing. Yay, level ups. 146. Pretty good level. Oh, and I also 
was checking through and it seems like the big golems from Dairy Plant aren't actually HP times level. They just have 700 base. So that would be 1050 with base curse and then inverse would boost it up even further to like 2000. Means not even Gaitha here would be one-shotting them, which is probably the issue. Well, really the bigger issue is the fact that they're so huge they just push themselves into you immediately and can't really do anything about it. Alright, boss baby. Let's see how you fare against this. Yeah, what's with the damage numbers? That should be a lot higher than it is. Huh, the arrow's not getting counted correctly or something? Is there a bigger hit delay than I expected? Actually not hitting me with them? There we go. Well, looks like your box office run has been shuttered. Well, maybe Boss Baby 4 will be the Redemption Tour. I mean, there was a sequel, right? There was a 2? I don't think there was a 3. So that one was 3, and then 4 is afterwards. As the very basic concept of 4 after 3 indicates. Alright, looks like she is going to be able to break the 100k mark. She managed to recover splendidly. A bit rough with just Flash Arrow, but once things get going... Yeah, 1800 hits, not bad. Could be so much higher, but hey, take what you can get. Yeah, anything that gets a multiplier off of a stat, crazy. Why Eleanor has such potential? Especially, those weapons have potential with Newt. Well, actually, I don't know if he gets real might or if he gets fake might. Either way, it'll be good. Have I actually done Spell Storm with Divine Bloodline? I don't think I have. Well, I mean, Divine Bloodline is like fake might. Doesn't count correctly. Ooh, it's actually going to become up close to getting 100k. Oh, she might actually not make it. Things might just be durable enough. Yeah, they've actually just gotten just enough durability that she's not going to make the 100k mark. Oh, fortunate for her. She can take you. She couldn't take you. 6.3 on the Heaven Sword. Beat out Millionaire. And Victory Sword is down there, so it gets shuffled out for something else. Alright, time for Keith to have some fun over on the Carlo card. Can't stop moving, can't stop winning. No double arcana here. No. Alright, it's gonna be a knife in time. Victory Sword has shown us it's the loser in that pack, so it gets replaced. Let's see if that's the right call. Of course, it's not going to be that good, but hey. Let's get a gimmick going. Bracer. Bracer. Well, in fact, let's max it out ASAP, so that way that one gets all the help it can get need. It's all the help it should possibly get, or they still get completely wrecked by the other two. Hmm. I mean, no, Millionaire's DPS was not any higher. Oh, does that reduce your cooldown too? Yeah, it's definitely faster. Than that. Maybe it increases your projectile speed. Something about it definitely feels faster. 40, 61. Hmm. I don't know, I guess maybe I just got distracted by the background or something. 
Wait, your first one? I thought it was counter first. Awkward. Ta da! Knife. I hit you. No, you're invincible. Oh man, she's hit a lot of speed up platforms. Hey! Lap one. Boy, I can't see a bloody thing. Da -da -da, cross up. Hmm, should there be a boss? I don't see no boss. That means I do see a boss. Double negatives go! Double negative is my stage name. Not Larry Yar boss. Okay, I can't evolve the knife, so. Thousand Edge, restrict. Oh wow, Pentachest, nice. Gold, it's a gold. And next Arcana is going to be Slash, and then it'll be Bouncy Bouncy, Iron Blue Will. Lots of Pearls is for the Wands. And Cross for some reason. Huh. Well, I suppose I could have grabbed either. In fact, I should have, well, even with the enhancement of Iron Blue Will, Millionaire did not out damage Heaven Sword, so... All right, limit break. Break the limits. Break the most pointless limit. All right, next boss should be showing up soon, so I'm going to stare at the top of this. I'm going to destroy these towers and then stare at the top of the screen. All righty, it's going well. I'm keeping myself... Situated correctly. Oh, speed actually benefits the swords quite a bit. Yeah, that figures. Oh man, I missed. I didn't even see the Arcana show up. No, oh, it's already on the right. That was a quick change. All right, that's gonna be a while. Up we go. Since I can actually evolve everything, I have to actually make this speed up, speed up, speed up. Hey, more pierce. Not that it matters that much, but hey. Oh. That that was an awkward call. Still quite a bit off the Arcana chest, so. Hey. I didn't even intend to get that. Yay, random dumb luck. It's coming up. Well, Pierce one, I'm here. And I'm always. Get re roll, re roll, re roll, slash. All right, take all them big crits. Nope, nope, you're for Myong, not Keitha. Wrong DLC. Flash forward. Nice stream. Oh, hey, Drowner and Stalker at the same time. Well, I mean, that was usually the default, having two at once. And then why the heck was Illusionist, or no, that was Trickster. Trickster up so fast. 
There you go. Go back to Miong. Right, Maddener and Drowner, and the other Arcana chest is showing up. Take them all down. Hey, another loop lap. Loop. This isn't a loop. It can't be a loop. There's no looping. It's literally just a straight line. All just one lap. Eight. I mean, it has to loop, though. Unless it's not a lap. This one long, endless line that has... Stripes painted on it. At random intervals. Make it think that you're loop lapping. Oh, hey, candy box. Oh, it was the Arcana chest. I didn't even see it show up. Let's bounce with some iron blue will. And a candy box. That shall be skipped. My Lou, my darling. Not gonna survive this. Not gonna survive this. Yeah, nothing's even showing up on the back end anymore. Yeah, it could still go crazy. Uh, crazy. Uh. And how would that happen? Well. Let's see. Well, you have the beginning to power up Flash Air and Millionaire. You have Walt of Pearls to bounce Heaven Sword around. And you have Wicked Season to increase the density of enemies and thus level ups. Hi, guys. I already told you. Myong's in the other direction, Stalker. Now, Death, on the other hand. Oh, wow. Just because I concentrated on it so hard, Thousand Suns did out-damage Heaven's Sword. I if I was about to lose. Okay, so I don't know why, but I thought I was doing Carlo Kart second instead of Tiny Bridge. So now these are out of order from the way I recorded it. So now we get Axe, because Knife actually out DPS Flash Arrow, and I can't get rid of Flash Arrow. So Heaven's Sword gets taken away. Oh, that's because of her. That does crit, and it covers near me. That's a better idea. When I was grabbing a grab, which was axe. Over. Wait. No, Prism Last doesn't crit. Three. Wait. I shouldn't have banned knives. That wouldn't make sense. Sealed the knife. Sealed cross. Absolutely sealed cross. At least I have the damage to keep up with taking out these dang things. Like, seriously. Okay. Boy, this isn't looking well. Did I actually banish it without noticing, without realizing it? Along with cross. That's not good. I mean, knife would definitely have shown up by now. There's no way it wouldn't not have. No, oh, there it is. I just had really bad luck with it. That's strange. It's knife. It's usually super common. The point it's kind of irritating. Well, not that I'm gonna get an evolution till for forever. There's no real downside to getting this Kizabur up first. Besides, Flash Hero got second in anyway.
you'd think it'd be good, but the railing's just blocking all so much of your f line of attack is really annoying. Guard railings, yes. Like, look at the damage they've done to poor Katha. Alrighty. I will actually have to grab a wake here. I probably won't even be able to grab Slash. The Iron Blue Will is just going to be better. You have Slant Old Sanctuary, right? Yeah. Oh, good, a chicken. Get that empty tomb going. Just causing things to bounce will be massively helpful. Nah, I shouldn't have got... Well, on the other hand, the concert area means it would actually hit a lot more. I was actually originally going to go for Axe instead of Eskizabur, but then I saw Eskizabur and thought, Hey, that could actually be really good here. Can't evolve anything. I mean, that's not an evolution chest anyway, but still. Might as well hold out, just in case, somehow... If it comes one through sheer luck. If there's one thing Keitha knows, it's luck. NFT. Academy badge, Academy badge. Yep, sheer luck. I'll boost up knife and the arrow. I could have gotten rid of the clover, but she's a luck based. I want to get as much luck as possible. That would have gotten me Candelabra, which would have been great too. In fact, is there a time when Candelabra Door isn't great? Oh. I can't think of any. The area is probably the overall best that it affects everything I said maybe well no it still affects even paranormal scan once and scan even though that's kind of not useful outside of the very niche scenario of co-op boy is this map annoying evolution chests don't even get the advantage you have a whole lot of pickups like with whiteout or space 54 it's just a 20 minute stage what the heck was this well if I could lag right that would solve a lot of the issues here 20 minute stage with like two evolution chests and they don't come in early like they do on a lot of other shorter stages. No, oh, this is bad. Why are they coming in like this? Usually it's just the left and the right, not like the full circle like this. I don't want to move. Oh, I have to move. Oh, man, when our Logan has been wasted. Well, there's a ton of levels. Oh, that was so many levels wasted. Get the vacuum. Wait, it's not bouncing correctly. Oh, that's an issue. Okay. Not good. Lousy swords. Oh, double evolution. That may have just saved the run. Okay, weak for sure. Sorry, Slash. You would definitely be much better, but I can't risk it. Not that I'm out of time too close to the start time, but... Hey, let's not take 
what should be only like a 12 minute run and make it into a 30 minute hellscape or a 40 minute hellscape. Awaken, Kietha, and annihilate all. Well, I think the millionaire and the thousand eggs are going to do good and a good job of annihilating all. Ah. Uh. Ew. Hey, I can break out nice. That'll make it a lot safer. Yeah, I can actually knife tornado. The fact that they're getting in this close with knife tornado and millionaire is not a good sign. Oh boy. Am I just gonna run into the void to save? I mean that would just be cheesing through it. But what is vampire survivors if not chickeny? Even in the void, the starburst occurs. Hmm. It's kind of interesting how they don't want to spawn in at all. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, it's nice and quiet here in the void. Uh, I, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of vertical tolerance. It'll just loop back up basically instantly. Wait, what? Oh, so do the... So it's only the starting bridge that actually has things on it. The other bridges don't have the spawns correctly programmed in. Because you really aren't intended to come up that way or down that way. Actually, kind of bad because I can't get back down to fight things. Uh oh. Top rail is pretty weak, but bottom rail is apparently very solid. Oh, there we go. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I meant to come out to the void. I just didn't mean to completely despawn it with that, because, well. Makes for a pretty boring video if there's no enemies on the screen. Come on, come on, face through the railings. Oh, wait. It is. Okay, I'm gonna have to track this with a timer or something. Because, you know, you can move with the D-pad and both joysticks. So if you hit them all at once... Oh. Huh. That happened. Okay, I guess it's just spawns for up here. The regular spawns there aren't. This is... No, wait, this must be an event then. An event no matter where you are. The other one is... This is weird. This is really weird. Oh. Yeah, it is an event. I know it's an event because nothing is supposed to explode like this. This is the one from a Louis Trickster. Or er, Maddener. No, Trickster. So it causes up both the explosive stuff and a wave of the spawn it by the time. Huh. As you know. That clearly wasn't. Yeah, I'm back down to cockatrices. I mean, I guess I suppose I should say that, yeah, I'm totally just super cheesing it now. What's the point of not doing it? I've already secured, like, five minutes of being completely untouched, so... No, doesn't look like they would have been... Well, that was a 
bad idea. So oh, four twenty five. That is not five. That is five. Four twenty five on Polis Replica. Four twenty six on Color Cart because I put order. And 427 on Tiny Bridge. Why am I doing that that way? And that takes us down to 1,505 more to go. It's two more days and we're back into the 1400s. Yay! Thanks for watching and special thanks to anyone who's liked, disliked, commented, or subscribed. Please do so if you haven't, but either way, have a good day and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Best Book.